Hey guys, I am Derek the Nitwit. Thanks for stopping by and checking out today's video. So, it's Halloween. Yay. Um, I don't have my porch light on. I don't hand out candy. Um, I don't even know if there are kids in this neighborhood. But hopefully it'll be a quiet night. Um, last year it was fairly quiet. So, And then it's time change Sunday. So we get an extra hour to sleep in the morning. I know when I was younger, I used to do the springtime time change. If I had like the weekends off, like during school, you know, I would do it on Friday as soon as I got home from school. So that I would have the whole weekend to get used to it. And then it wouldn't be that big of a deal for, you know, Sunday, Monday morning. Um, but the time change in the fall, I would save that until Monday morning so that I got that extra hour to sleep in on that last day. So, but now it doesn't matter to me really um, when it happens. I know that... I need to set the time on my microwave tonight because it's it's still sitting on zero from when the power was out or on all zeros. But because um, all my phones will automatically do the time change in the morning, and I will still sit there and wonder if they've done it or not. So I need something that's not a cell phone or tablet to um, be able to check to see what time it is. So, but anyway, I got up today, I went and did laundry, um, went to the laundromat where you just, you know, wash hair, dry free, and I shouldn't have gone on a Saturday, um, just, I try and go during the weekday just when it, you know, so for it to be less busy. But I actually, lucky when I came in and I got there, found an empty washer right off the bat. And then when I got done with that, with the washer, I found an empty dryer right off the bat. So I lucked out. Um, and everyone there was wearing masks, which was nice, but there's definitely no social distancing going on there. So that was a little bit annoying. but. I made it through, and I had my clean clothes, and I shouldn't have to go again for quite a while. So, and but last night I finished the Sabrina project, so that is done. Um, we will show the project once we do the release the video. Sabrina has done the tutorial for how to make the project and uh, make the blanket. I'm supposed to make the video on the introduction, so I've got to um, figure that one out. I'm not quite sure yet what to put on there. So, and then we've got to come up with a name for it. And then we mail them off to each other and exchange them. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, the last round was kind of easy, but kind of hard, just because the round prior, when I was doing the granny square chains, you do, you know, the three double chains and then you do the single chain. And every time I would do the single chain, my tension would get tighter. So the next time coming through, trying to get the needle, my hook into those singles was hard. But I got it done, and I have it finished, and I am proud. I am so proud of Sabrina for designing the project and for making the tutorial and teaching me how to do it. And I'm proud of myself for actually being able to do it. So, um, And then today I have worked on the knit hat. I started working on it when I was at the laundromat. And then I worked on it um, a lot of this afternoon. I've got five inches done of the 
ribbing and I've got to go to six inches and then it goes just uh, once I get to six inches I switch to stockinette stitch or stocking stitch and do for another couple inches and then start shaping the crown so we're getting there um, I'll probably work on it some more after dinner this evening and see if I can get the rest of the ribbing done tonight. I need a new crochet project. I was thinking, I started to work on this. I haven't worked on this in forever, my Harry Potter crochet kit. Because I've got Dobby made, and I'm supposed to be making a sock. And I tried making a sock today, but it was just, for whatever reason, the yarn is just so dark that I couldn't see my stitches. And so... I wasn't quite sure really what I was doing, so it's a little frustrating, but I figure I can try that again tomorrow or the next day, whenever I feel like working on it. It's just a little sock that I've got to make for Dobby, and then he he will be done. And I can I think they've they've got the yarn to make one other character that came included with the kit, so then I can get started on that one. I also have, I have the uh, Melody Cardigan that I've been work, was working on. I stopped working on it when I started ECT just because I didn't want the memory loss issues to mess me up. And so I have, I'll have to go back and review the tutorials and work on it some. But I want to make sure that my mind and my brain is working right before I start uh, working on that project. And that's another one that Sabrina did the tutorial for and oh, my cat is playing with the TV tray. And Sabrina did the tutorial for and she did an amazing job with it. So, um, but other than that, I don't really have any simple the only simple crochet projects I have quit eating the TV tray. Um sure Max is an oddball. Um I can make scrunchies. These are easy enough to make. And I might make them if I, if I don't feel like knitting after dinner, I might end up making a crochet scrunchie. So but Anyway, that is where I am today. Just had, having a nice day, been productive. So, anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow.